I'm Helen Gim. I am a city council member from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the United States. Was elected citywide, so I represent the entire city of Philadelphia, which is about one and a half million people. So Barcelona, to me, is the heart of all of that. Um, I was certainly inspired by uh, Ada Colau and her run for, for mayor in 2015. It was the same time that I ran. And um, many of the elements that she was talking about on her campaign, the work she had come out of, uh, the energy that was moving through the streets of Barcelona were also moving through the streets of Philadelphia. And um, you know, this idea that uh, I ran for city council in large part because I believe in the power of local governments who are most connected to their communities to enact massive change that can then be an example for the rest of the country. So we cannot wait for change to come from the top. It will take forever. We will wait forever. And we have already waited for too long. So our energy is now at the local level to transform things. And I think it reverberates up. So. Um, being here in Barcelona with so many people who understand that, who live and breathe it every day, who are part of the practice of living their politics um, is, is energizing, it's inspiring, it brings me new ideas, um, and it makes me believe in politics again. Philadelphia is the uh, birthplace of the, uh, it's the it's it's the birthplace of American democracy. So obviously, it's the place where a group of rebels wrote down um, the Declaration of Independence. And to some extent, in the U.S., we are the original fearless city. But clearly, you know, those things aren't just lived through words and documents and hist history. It's lived right now. And I think what makes Philadelphia a fearless city is the activism of communities that have come together through very difficult circumstances to transform our politics from the ground up. So in a large way, my election to city council was a lot about public school parents and immigrant communities who have been driving and working for change in our city um, at a time when they felt most marginalized. Philadelphia and American citizens at rates that are unheard of in, in the rest of the world. And so, you know, it was ordinary citizens who took that task on to transform po politics and uh, is immigrant communities that established Philadelphia as a sanctuary city, defying Donald Trump and his atrocious and racist bans against uh, people of a certain background or religion. And, um, you know, to me, that's what makes Philadelphia fearless. We have a vibrant set of communities that are active and engaged and whose work is now so powerful um, and so transformative, it actually reaches around the nation and even to some extent across the world. Municipalism is the power of communities to impact change with the type of politics that is born on the ground. So for many marginalized communities, for communities we live um, in a city that is the poorest large city in the United States, uh, we have massive income inequality. The current capitalist structure built off of an antiquated fossil fuel system and infrastructure is terrible for, for our people. So municipalism means we can't look to the traditional structures to fix anything that is currently wrong. They reinforce it. Municipalism is about the people building the policies that are born in our streets through protests, through uh, deep thinking and community building to transform our politics. And to me, it's the most powerful vision that we've got.